Hey everybody, so I just got notice that I have a package at UPS and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Oh, <laughs> ignore the shovel in the back seat. So as you may be able to tell from the title of this video, I am picking up a Fujifilm 35 millimeter point and shoot camera. Now I haven't shot 35 millimeter film since I was like a little kid, but it does kind of bring back a lot of memories of why I got into photography when I was younger. My mom always used to hand me her camera, my grandfather, everyone around me. So I'm really excited to get into this, but I'm also really excited to use a vintage Fujifilm camera, even though it's a point and shoot, it's just gonna be interesting to see how it holds up. We're also gonna go looking for some film, which I can't seem to find online right now. Everything's out of stock. So we're gonna stop at a couple CVS's and see if I can find some Fuji Color 200. Let's go. All right, so before we go back, I want to stop at a couple CVS to see if I can find some 35 millimeter film. Should be pretty interesting, but I, I don't know. I mean, this is like a cool town, but <laughs> I'm just curious if there's 35 millimeter film, if people are shooting it or not. So we'll find out. Wow. <laughs> Look at the view from the CVS, but I am illegally parked, so I'm going to run in. Okay. <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, I said to the lady when I, there was somebody at the door, I was like, do you sell 35 millimeter film? And she was like, what? And I was like, 35 millimeter film. And she looked at me like I had 10 heads. I was like, for a camera? And she was like, oh, no. So, uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to try maybe like a shop right or something and see if it's maybe at the counter. I don't know. We're going to um, see you there. All right, y'all, we're at Target uh, because I started getting pissed off imagining myself going to ShopRite because I hate ShopRite and I'm not having it. So as you can see from my musical choices, it was I was getting there. So anyway, uh, we're at Target. I try not to go to Target because I always end up buying too much, but we're gonna go straight for the film, see if they got it and we'll go from there. All right, so we got some. There was only four rolls left in the whole store though and then disposable cameras. I asked a lady if they get it a lot here and she was like, occasionally. So I bought all four. It was 28 bucks for four rolls. So they were $6.99 each. I looked online and I saw like three for 31 plus shipping. So I think it was a good deal. Um, and I'm happy that I got Fuji. I didn't really want 200 speed, but I don't know. The camera's F9 and it's a point and shoot. I'm shooting this at like F8 right now in pure daylight and even that's a little bright. So I am sure it'll be fine. I'm just glad I got it. All right, we are back home. We got the package, let's open her up. Okay, so what's cool about this, I got this on eBay. Um, what's cool about it is that it came in the original packaging. Okay, <laughs> here we are. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. There we go. So it's a focus-free lens, meaning you, know, you don't have to rack focus. It is a point and shoot, like I said um 29 millimeter equivalent it's so it's motorized so that's like another thing i'm really excited about with this is that you know you it will advance the film for you it will also oh wow this looks like it's a nice condition um it'll also rewind the film for you here we are uh this is the fuji film clear shot m and so you can see that here let's open up the lens there wow that looks really nice Here's the back and then here is the rewind button um, it does take batteries so I'm gonna have to do that um, looks like two AA batteries so we'll get those we got a little shutter count up here shutter button obviously and then this just opens up the back so let's take a look here yeah I mean it looks very clean I mean like I said this is the first time I'm doing this since I was a kid so we'll see how this goes. Here comes Roxy. Roxy, please, please, please. Oh, so that's another thing. It came with two lanyards that were unopened, you guys. Let's see, is there like a date on this box? 
Let's see, where is the, ah, right here, okay. Okay, now we are cooking. 1995 mother over here. All right, so like I said in the car, I got four. This, these were the only ones left in the store. It's Fujifilm 200, color negative film. I, like I said, you know, I was hoping for a higher speed. I wanted to find like maybe 400, but it's all good. Okay. This is really exciting, actually. There we, there we go. There we go. Okay. Luckily, I always keep some double A's on hand for uh, my speed lights. So let's pop these in. Um, yeah, I mean, I just heard something. <laughs> so it's definitely alive. Oh, yeah, the light's on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So let's load the film. Okay. Oh, there's a little demo and like demonstration in here. It tells you what direction to put it in and everything. So that's good. All right, let's try again. Are we good? All right. I think you're supposed to hit it until it goes to one. All right. All right. So I think we are all good here. Um, obviously the thing that's kind of different about film is that I will have to shoot a whole roll, wait for the scans to be developed um, and sent back to me and then I could show them to you. So obviously I can't show them to you today. I'm really, like I said, I'm very excited about this. I think it's, um, you know, a foray into a different medium um, that I'm used to. And again, I'm really excited to be using a Fujifilm camera that is this old. You know, that this still works and that this is in such good condition super lightweight. I could see myself bringing this with me, um, in a lot of places. Hopefully I loaded the film right. I think I did. I'm going to watch a video right now. You know, this is beginner <laughs> type stuff and that's why I got this camera. Um, but I know there's a lot of cameras out there that I could expand into over time and other film stocks that I could try out. So excited about that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to be getting back to some digital stuff soon. X-T5 is coming next week, hopefully. Um, I have my full Fujifilm lens kit now, um, fully transitioned from Canon. I want to talk about my experience with MPB, which is where I traded all the camera equipment into. Um, definitely hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog style video and I will talk to you soon.